I'm just uh, looking at the wine first of all, the colour. This is obviously a young wine, 2012 vintage, but um, and it shows the what you would expect from a, from a younger wine. It's showing a really lovely deep purple colours as well as a, a bright red character which I find very, very attractive. The aroma, um, it's got everything that you would expect from, a, from 2012 which is a lovely vintage. It's got lovely ripe fruit flavours, it's got lifted uh, some even red berry flavours which you it's a little bit different from the Barossa. The Barossa is normally associated with really ripe black fruits. This one has certainly got that, but it's also got some, some nice bright red fruits with it. And of course, the thing that's, that's really appealing is, is, is the supporting oak. The, the Glatzer family have been very, very clever with the oak handling on this wine. The, the oak is there, but it's all, all in balance and all in harmony. Um, the palate. This is the most appealing part of the whole wine. I mentioned earlier that um, Barossa is famous for big, rich, full-bodied Shiraz. This is a little different to that. It is a little more elegant and refined and this is one of the things that make this wine so appealing. It has stacks of flavour but it's not one of these big, rich, in-your-face wines that, that take you know, some time to, uh, to get over. I, I mean I find even this is a young wine you can drink this wine and enjoy it right now. It's got lovely, soft, supple fruit flavours on the mid palate. The tannins are ripe and balanced, and the oak is, as I said it before, is, is very much in a supporting role without being overt. And I think it's a very well put together wine. Any Shiraz goes well with red meats, uh, and that's what makes it so popular with the Aussie barbecues. Um, but this particular wine, it, it uh, I think, it deserves really really good, uh, good lamb or steak or something like that not just standing around a barbecue but sitting down at a nice table with a really nice cut of meat there's no doubt about it that this style of wine with the protein that's in red meats it just they just go they're, they're a marriage made in heaven basically as for cellaring potential uh, this wine is whilst it's a young wine it's, it's under screw cap uh, it has and even though it's got these lovely supple soft flavors which makes it very very approachable now it has the depth and the structure and the weight that's going to uh, bode well for it in, in, in its, uh, as it matures. I think it will go for maybe, maybe at its peak for, at five years, but there's no reason why it couldn't go longer if you've got a good seller. Most importantly of all, please enjoy your Best in Society Winter Red and may I commend it to you.